This is a TOC question. We have two languages, L1 and L2. L1 is regular and L2 is context free. Now we have been given these four uh, languages in these options and we have to determine which of these languages will also be context free. Now the first one is L1 intersection L2 bar L2 complement. So L1 is a regular language it has been given and what is L2? L2 is a CFL context free language. But what do we have? It is L2 complement. So is CFL closed under complementation? No, it is not closed. But context sensitive language is closed under complementation. So we can say that every CFL is also a CSL. Every context free language is also context sensitive. And because CSL is closed under complementation, this L2 will say L2 is a CSL. And since CSL is closed under complementation, so L2 bar will also be a CSL. So this L2 bar becomes CSL. And what we are taking the intersection of regular language with a context sensitive language. So the result of this intersection will also give us a CSL context sensitive language. It is not a CFL. So we'll be rejecting this option A. Now what this B is doing? It is L1 complement union of L2 complement and the whole complement. So we can simplify this using the De Morgan's law and that will give us this uh, uh, upper uh, common complementation would be removed and it will be applied to both of them L1 L2 and union turns into intersection. So this will again be simplified into L1 intersection L2. So this is how we simplified the option B and now we know that L1 is a regular language L2 is a CFL and intersection between regular and CFL will result into what? It will be a CFL itself. So this option B results into a context free language. Now this C1 it is saying L1 union of L2 union L2 bar. Now this L2 is a CSL L2 bar will also be a CSL but here we will consider the fact that L2 is taken union with its complement itself. So it is like saying um, a language and its complement itself are combined together. So that will result into a universal set sigma star. And with this universal set, we can take the union of any other thing. It does not matter. The result will also always be a universal set itself. And this universal language, we know that if let us say if our alphabet set is 0 comma 1, then it will be represented simply as 0 plus 1 star or depending upon whatever is our alpha set we know alphabet set we know that this sigma star or the universal language that will be regular and every regular language is also context free so we can say that option c also represents a context free language now coming to this option d it is l1 intersection l2 now we just saw L1 is regular, L2 is context free. So if we take their intersection, it will be also context free. And now on this side, again, we are doing the same thing. L1 intersection L2, that will also be a CFL. And finally, we are taking the union. So it is CFL union CFL, the result of which will also be a CFL. So this option D also represents a language that is context free. So we got B, C and D all three as the context free languages. So that is our answer.